Hurricane Irene, which uh, we call it day five of our Hurricane Irene experience here, it formed last weekend. Uh, today it has uh, uh, moved away from the big island of Hispaniola and has become a major hurricane in the southeast Bahamas uh, with 115 mile an hour winds. Uh, it's going to move through the southeast and central Bahamas today and tonight, then the northwest Bahamas on Thursday, and then the the official forecast takes it right up parallel to the eastern seaboard for a center line of the track. Obviously, as you get up in here, the margin of uncertainty gets larger. Could be a little farther out to sea, could be a little farther near land. Bahamas, uh, as it goes through there today, the wind is, uh, is probably the primary threat. There are areas subject to, to storm surge inundation there that are, that are known about, and hopefully the people have been evacuated from those areas. Uh, Big challenge in the uh, coast of Carolinas uh, if it comes a direct hit over there with a major hurricane, a lot of areas subject to storm surge. So GFS says at 9.50 at 78 hours. Uh, the general process here is it's a six hour cycle. We run every six hours. Uh, uh, a new set of data comes in that helps us adjust the forecast forward in time by that six hours. The, the cone that you see is a function of our, our standard average error over the last five years uh, for each time step in that forecast and what you're seeing is a, t a picture of two-thirds of the time where the center would go based on our average skill of the forecast. We can do a forecast out to about five days on the track. The five-day forecast average error is roughly 50 miles each day so a 24-hour forecast should be uh, plus or minus 50 miles of the point we put on the map in all directions whereas you get out five days, now you're talking 250 miles. And that's why we encourage people at day four and five uh, not to get too carried away about the center line of that forecast because the odds are it could be, odds are likely that it won't be near that. Somewhere within that cone is more likely where it'll be. But our, our track uh, skill has improved by almost uh, half cut the error since the time frame that Andrew roamed the sea. But I think we would be just as challenged on the rapid intensification Andrew went through in the Bahamas back in 92 uh, today if that same kind of storm were to occur.